7 on WTOC. Young female golfers will tee off in Vidalia trying to guarantee a spot on the LPGA Tour. The Vidalia Championship is coming up the end of August. Here to tell us more, professional golfer Brittany Johnston. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. First of all, start by telling us where you're from. I'm from Akron, Ohio. Akron, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And you graduated from? Northwestern University in Chicago. When did you start playing golf? About eight years old. Wow. Not, com not professionally until I was yeah. obviously 21, but I uh, started competing when I was in high school, so about 13, yeah. 14. Mm -hmm. When did you know that you were good? Um, <laughs> probably when I was about 17 or 18 started getting recruited by colleges. Because my parents are still trying to yeah. think that they're good. Never too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big golf area. We it, have a lot of golfing fans here. Mm -hmm. I've heard. Yeah. Um, you are in down in this area for mm -hmm. the LPGA Futures Correct. Tour. Explain to some of us non-golfers. Um, yeah. Don, Don, Don drives the carts. So <laughs> I he, drive the carts for my yeah. Yeah. So he for considers my himself a golfer. Yeah. But explain the LPGA Tour, the Futures Tour, how that all works. Yeah, the LPGA Futures Tour is owned by the, Futures, or the LPGA Tour. Um, and we're all out here. It's a developmental tour. The road to the LPGA is what they call it. Um, and we're out here trying to finish in the top five um, to get your full exempt status on the LPGA for 2012. Um, and the six through ten will get conditional status out there. So that's very important, too. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're all just in the race for the card. So this tournament's very important to us. Now, did everybody start in the Futures program? Does, like, Michelle Wee start in the Futures program? Um, she jump right in. You don't have to. You can um, go right to Q School for the LPGA, which mm -hmm. until this year we're separate. Um, this year it'll be one Q school, so you'll get LPGA and future status from the same Q school. When did you turn pro? Um, in 2008. So once once you do that, then you are in it. You're playing professionally, and you're mm -hmm. in for the the money. And exactly. Yes. Yeah. So we have a money list at the end of the year. The top 10 people will get their LPGA status. The next, uh, the top 90 will keep their future status and mm -hmm. not have to go back for futures Q school. Um, and everybody else can go and try for the LPGA again. So. Mm -hmm. So there's, yeah. it's kind of like a ranking system. It's a ranking too. system, yeah. It's all by your um, earnings. So mm -hmm. it's a money list, but it's all by dollars. Yeah. And how are you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. I was 17 after last week. Um, I had a win in there, so that was a lot oh, of fun good. in Connecticut. So yeah, had a good season so far. Over your history, what are some of your bigger wins? Um, this was the biggest one in Connecticut. Um, I've won on some smaller tours, even more developmental than this tour. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a big win. Yeah. Um, this is my first full season out there. I've played a couple other events in the other couple of years I've been a professional, but this is my first full season, so it's been fun so far. So you're making a living doing it. There yeah, and this tournament's yeah. especially important since it's um, at the end of the season, so everybody here that's close to getting their card will be here. It'll be a real good field. So. What's the biggest obstacle to getting people involved and, and interested in wanting to do the Futures program? Um, I mean, it's, a, it's expensive for girls traveling. It's a lot of time on the road, um, and nothing's guaranteed playing golf, but a lot of girls out here following their dreams, following their passion, and, you know, everyone wants to play on the LPGA that's played golf their whole life, so... It's, I mean, it's a good step out of college for a lot of girls. Yeah. So we're going to be in Vidalia for the Vidalia Championship yeah. coming up August 22nd through the 28th. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us where we're going to be. Uh, we're going to be at Hawks Point Golf Club. Um, and the tournament will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And there will be a pro-am on Wednesday and Thursday. So a lot of um, community and locals and sponsors will get to play with some of the players, which will be a lot of fun, too. We were talking earlier, you have not even seen that course yet. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I'm so hoping true. to see it later today. Yeah, it's a brand new event, which is great. We're always look, looking forward to new courses and new opportunities and new relationships for the tour with courses, so that's great. What have you heard about it? I've heard it's going to be a challenge, which is great. <laughs> I've heard every club in the golf bag we need to use and a lot of different shots, so that's going to be fun, you know. Of the big term, what's, the, what's your favorite tournament so far before you get to Vidalia? Oh, well, Connecticut, because I won. Yeah, okay, of course. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so far, that's my favorite. But this could be my new favorite. So, When you're going to be in Vidalia, again, the August 22nd through the 28th, we're going to yes. put up the information there. And you can always go to WTOC.com to find out more, too, because this is one that the 26th, did I, what did I say? 26th. Oh, 26th through the 28th. 28th. And, uh, again, this is one that the, the public would enjoy mm -hmm. coming yeah, out Yeah, come on this. out. Bring the family. It's great. Um, good way to get little kids involved. And uh, a lot of volunteers are going to be there, too. So that's really helpful. We can't have a tournament without all the volunteers in the community. So that's good. Yeah. Do you, uh, how about your competition? Do you know, uh, like, how many people are coming? And There's going to be 144 girls. So mm -hmm. anybody's week. Yeah. yeah. Anybody can win. I mean, are you familiar with a lot of them? Have you uh -huh. played with a lot of them? Yeah. yeah, a lot of girls play week to week out here. There's some that, you know, come down from the LPGA and play a few events. And mm -hmm. everyone will be a brand new golf course for everybody. So it's 
Anybody's even game? Playing field. Yeah, even there playing you field. Go. Playing field. Yeah. Brittany Johnson, thank you so much. Thank the you Vidalia both. Get Championship. Thanks. WTOC is also, we're going to have a big part down there because we're also going to do a 30 minute special on this uh, championship. And we'll tell you about that information on WTOC.com too. So we'll get a lot of background. <laughs> Sounds good. And everybody that's yeah. involved. And once again, the, we do want to mention that that is at Hawks Point uh, down there in Vidalia. Sounds good. Best right. of luck. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Thank you. Well, supply up for back to school. That's next.